Hello, BCES friends and family. I am Miss Brooks. I'm the principal here at Blakely Elementary School. We would like to thank you for coming to our virtual open house. We apologize that we cannot have it in person tonight, but I think you will find it very informative and enlightening uh, as you go through and listen to either the video or the PowerPoints that the teachers have prepared for you guys. Um, we chose superheroes as our theme this year, and I think that is very appropriate uh, in light of what we're dealing with. In the world, words of Superman, I think a hero is an ordinary individual who finds strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. And we are certainly doing that here at BCES, and I know you are at home as well. Again, thank you for sending your child to us ready to learn and for helping them at home. Communication is a very big part of the success of children here at Blakely County Elementary School. We encourage you to look at your uh, child's signed papers and their signed paper folder every Wednesday that comes home. Um, join your teachers, your child's teachers Remind 101. That gives you lots of information. Also, if you do not know your child's PowerSchool login, all you have to do is call the front office and they'll help you figure out what your login is so you can look at their grades and attendance at any point during the year. Again, thank you for joining us and um, we look forward to an awesome year. Hi parents and students, my name is Hillary Barker. I'm assistant principal here at Blakely Elementary. We just wanna welcome you back to a very great school year. Um, we are so glad to have our superheroes back in the building. It's been very quiet around here without our superheroes. And so we are just loving having them back. A few things I wanna to mention to you as far as changes go. This year, we have transformed our water fountains into water refill stations. And what that means is you can't just walk up to the water fountain and put your mouth on it and drink water anymore. You must have a water bottle that you can refill. So parents, it's very important that you send your children every day to school with a clean water bottle so that they can refill them during the day. You know, these superheroes, they get really thirsty because they're working hard. Um, another thing I want to mention is that we are all wearing masks this year. This is a new change, of course. Um, and so um, we are asking that students wear masks during class. They're wearing masks during transition. Um, the only time they might not wear masks would be during recess or PE if they can social distance from each other in those locations. Another time they wouldn't wear masks, obviously, is during lunch. So if you will, parents, just help us out by keeping those masks washed regularly. We would really appreciate that. Um, and last but not least, one of the things that is very concerning to parents would be absences. We've had a lot of parents call and ask about absences, and we want you to know that we are going to be very flexible this year and work with your children. Um, if your child starts to exhibit symptoms, COVID-related symptoms, if you will just call the office and let us know what's going on. If your child has to be quarantined or if your child is COVID positive, we certainly will work with you. Our teachers will call and um, get your children set up and make sure that they can get their work done while they're absent. Um, and so if your child, again, is COVID positive or quarantined for anything you know, related to this, then they will not be marked absent. They will be marked um, present. And so I just wanted to let you know that because that's one of the things that does concern parents. We just, we're looking forward to a great school year this year. I know it started off in a great way. Thank you so much for sending your babies to us. Have a good day. Hello, my name is Vonda Bryan and I'm the counselor here at BCES. I'm here to help your child socially, emotionally, and academically if needed. I realize that many students are experiencing anxiety due to COVID-19 and I'm here to help in that area. I'm also the testing coordinator. Our students generally take the Georgia milestones in the spring of the year. Our governor has requested a waiver um, to exempt our students from having to take the Georgia milestones. We have not received um, word if this waiver has been approved, but we will let you know as soon as we hear. Although this year is quite different than other years, we want you to know that we're doing everything in our power to make sure that your child is happy, healthy, safe, and learning. Please let me know if you need me. Hey guys, my name is Miss Cole and I'm excited to be back in school this year. I am a fifth grade co-teacher and I teach um, language arts with Miss Harper and I teach math with Miss Goshorn in fifth grade. 
and I'm just excited that y'all are here and I can't wait to see what good things we're going to do together. Hey parents, I am Miss Devane and I teach on the pod of Miss Rogers and Miss Jones and I just wanted to let you know that I am your child's math teacher and I'm very, very excited to have them this year. I am enjoying each one of them so much. They are all precious. Um, I also want to just let you know a little bit about our math class and how it works. This year we're doing a lot more virtual learning, so there will be things posted on Google Classroom and I Excel and Study Island for your children to do and they know all about that so they can probably teach you a thing or two about how to use it. Um, we also use Reminds. I let the children write down their assignments in their agendas, but they do that themselves. So to make sure that everything comes across that needs to come across, I always send out a Remind for quizzes projects or tests anything like that that they need to do so that you also know what they are expected to do remind can also be used um, to communicate with me if you have questions concerns just want to check in you can always just send me a remind message and it comes through just like a text so I'll get it as soon as you send it hopefully unless there's a technology issue um, you can also email me or call the school and leave a message. If you have my personal cell phone number or need it, you can let me know. Um, several of you already have that. So feel free to use it how you need to. If I do not answer right away, I will call you back as soon as I can. Um, other than that, we use interactive notebooks, which is what one of the composition books on the school supply list was for. Um, it has anchor charts and tip charts, which are for vocabulary terms and things like that. We also use their yellow math folder. It has um, special worksheets, multiplication charts, um, good things like that for study tools. The other thing that we use a lot, and I mean a lot, are our um, dry erase markers. So if your child doesn't have dry erase markers, please, please get them some because ours do not last long. They use these almost daily. I let them use them to work out math problems on the desk and we just use paper towels or an old cloth to wipe them off. So we will go through several, several um, dry erase markers throughout the year. The other thing that we um, use almost daily are ear pods or headphones. So if your child does not have those, please get those and send those as soon as possible because they have a lot of instructions or talk to text things that they listen to in class that help them with assignments. And it gets really loud or really confusing when there's several of them playing out loud at the same time. So the headphones are really beneficial. Um, again, I am Miss Devane and I'm very excited for the school year. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach me for anything. I hope that you have a wonderful evening and I look forward to the rest of our school year. Hey guys, my name is Alex Garnto. I'm a fifth grade special education teacher and I co-teach with Ms. Rogers, Ms. Devane, and Ms. Jones. Hi, this is Ms. Goshorn. I teach fifth grade math and I'm on a team with Ms. McWhorter and Ms. Harper. This is my 14th year as a teacher and my fourth year teaching fifth grade math at Buckley County Elementary School. If you're in my class, you'll notice that I put a lot of material on my virtual classroom. My virtual classroom helps students, if they're at home, sick, or want to review at home that evening, know exactly what we did in class that day. I'll also upload lesson videos to Google Classroom almost every day so that you can study and review what's going on in math. I am so glad to have such a wonderful group of fifth graders this year. It has been a joy and a pleasure getting to know them over the last couple of weeks. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Remind is a great way to contact me. We'll send home Remind login codes on your students' progress report every week. You'll just put that code in and you'll get updates from me several times a week about what we're studying in math class and how your child can practice at home. We don't have regular math homework, but always do check your child's math folder and look over what they're learning in class. Ask them if they can explain it to you. We use an interactive notebook regularly in math class. This is where students write down the most important content we are learning in class. I look forward to a great year here at Blackley County Elementary School. Hi, I'm Ms. Harper. I teach reading in ELA. I'm excited to have your student this year in my classroom. Um, a few reminders, I will be using Google Classroom to upload my instructional materials handouts, um, links to charts, um, links to quizzes that they the students will be able to take, 
videos um, of me teaching some lessons. So if your child is out, um, they won't miss a beat. They can just go to Google Classroom each day and see the things that are uploaded for um, that day, um, our lessons. Um, I've taught the children how to go to my virtual page and click on the Daily Grind um, tab and it will take them to a weekly template. So each week the template um, will have that week's essential questions, learning targets, and then it kind of breaks it down by day what we're gonna be doing so that you can check Google Classroom to see the material that's been uploaded to match what to match each day. Um, grades will be done paper pencil form. I will also take grades using quizzes. I excel in Study Island. Um, and the best way that you can communicate with me throughout this year is through Remind. Um, and I look forward to working with you um, to help your child reach their full potential. Welcome to fifth grade. My name is Christy Jones. I teach science and social studies. I've enjoyed getting to know the students over the past few weeks and look forward to a great year. Here are a few reminders for science and social studies. Please make sure that your child has two plastic folders with prongs. In the folders, they need five page protectors with some notebook paper behind them. They also need an agenda. The agendas can be purchased at the school store. We use the agenda to write our homework down in each night and also if I need to communicate back and forth with you, we can use the agenda for that. We may not always have written homework in science and social studies, but we do have study guides that go along with each unit or lesson that we're learning about. So it would be helpful if you would take out the study guide and maybe just ask your child a few questions each night about what we've been learning. Again, I've enjoyed getting to know the students over the last few weeks and I look forward to a great year. One last thing, if you have not signed up for Remind, please sign up for Remind and I will be sending home that information. Thank you. Hey fifth grade, my name is Mrs. Land. I teach on the same team as Ms. Smith and Ms. Landfear and Ms. Rowland. I teach all four subjects. This is my fourth year teaching fifth grade. I love to teach my fifth graders. My favorite subject is reading. I love getting to spend time with all of these kids all day long to see how smart they are and how much they know. And we just have the best time in class. So I'm so excited to get to know your kids and to get to know you. And I'm really looking forward to a great year this year. Thanks. Hey guys, um, my name is Miss Lanthier and I am a fifth grade math teacher. I'm so excited to teach your child this year. Um, a couple of things that can keep you up to date with my math class. Um, the Remind app, I use that for notifications every week to show what we're doing in class, maybe reminders of tests and stuff like that. Um, also on Google Classroom, I post online lessons and I may have some extra work that you can do on there. Um, please check their yellow folder every week. It's the yellow folder is their math folder. I send out a weekly math letter to show what we're working on that week. Um, feel free to email or message on Remind if you have any questions. Thank you. Hey, fifth grade, this is Ms. McCorder, and I teach science and social studies. I teach on the pod with Ms. Harper and Ms. Goshorn. I look forward to a wonderful year of you learning about science and history. A little few things about my class that you should all know by now is the virtual classroom. The virtual classroom is located in the Google Classroom, and if you click on the virtual classroom, you will find anything and everything about what we're learning about in both science and social studies. You'll have study guides, tip charts, a few little practices along the way, and you'll also have the agendas of everything that we are gonna do for that day. If you're absent on that day, there's also a calendar on our virtual whiteboard in the virtual classroom, and you can click on that and it'll take you to our assignments 
and our videos and all the slides that you need for the past couple of days since you've been absent. A good, good way to get in touch with me and for your parents to get in touch with me is through Remind. Remind is an app, and if you don't have that app already, you can do Remind.com as well. The code should be coming home every week in the side papers. So sign up for that. It lets me get um, to tell you what we're studying about and you to talk to me as well. Also, if your child does not have a orange folder or a blue folder, please make sure that your child has one soon. Orange is for science, blue is for social studies. One more thing that we use almost every day in science and social studies is headphones or earbuds. So if you don't have any of those, please get some of those as well. If you have any questions, please email me or send me a reminder. And I look forward to hearing from you. I'll have a blessed day. We'll talk to you later. Hey, awesome fifth grade parents and any of my students that are out there watching with you. I'm Charity Rowland and I teach fifth grade science and social studies, along with Selena Smith, who teaches ELA, and Brooke Landfair, who teaches math for our pod. It has been a great start to this fifth grade year, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the year is like if it's been such a great start now. Um, for science and social studies, main thing is make sure your children have their folders um, each and every day, orange for science, blue for social studies. We put the current study guide right in the very front every time we do a new unit, so that's where it should be at. And any other work in there is labeled or we put it in that folder if there's ever any question about where something may be. Um, we're doing units this year instead of doing it every day or every other day. And I think you, the students, and us as the teachers are going to like that a whole lot better. Um, just focusing on one thing at a time. We are just finished a science unit, um, you know, for landforms. We're finishing up some of their fourth grade standards right now from social studies um, for the next week or so, and then we are going to jump right into fifth grade social studies, um, which is a lot of um, fun because we talk about a lot of war wars and um, just a lot of the things that they really get excited about. Um, if you ever have any questions, please let me know. I do remind. Um, I sent the information home a week or so ago, so if you did not get that information, let me know. A lot of you have already signed up for it. Um, I've sent out a few messages, you know, to let you know what's going on here at school, but it's just a good communication tool between, you know, you and myself and, you know, what we're, what's going on here. Um, if you did not get that, let me know, and I'll be glad to send it to you. Anything I can ever help you with, just let me know. Um, text message, remind, call school. Um, anything like that and because um, this year it's going to be a lot of us you know working together with this crazy world that we're in right now so um, just look forward to a great year and anything I can do for you just let me know thanks hi this is Kristen Rogers and I teach on the team with Hillary Devane Christy Jones and Alex Garnte this is my 15th year teaching ELA and over the past several weeks, I have been on maternity leave after having my third son. And your child's had an amazing substitute, Miss Dana Rogers, and I know they have been in very good hands. I plan to get back into the classroom in the next two weeks, and I'm just excited to get back to teaching and to meet your child. This year, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call or email me. And also, if you have not done so, please sign up for my Remind. You can text at... K Rogers 5 to the number 81010. I look forward to getting to meet all of you and getting back into the classroom. Thanks. Hey, fifth grade parents, I am Selena Smith and I teach reading, writing, and grammar. Um, I teach on the same pot as Miss Landfair, Miss Land, and Miss Rowland. We have had a wonderful start to our school year. The kids have already read so many great books. They've already started writing many wonderful stories. And I just wanted to let you know that if your child is ever absent, uh, to check Google Classroom, we will upload assignments there. Um, all their makeup work will be on Google Classroom. Also, uh, please encourage your children to read at least 20 minutes every night because it can help boost their reading comprehension and their fluency. This is going to be a great school year.
Hey families, my name is Jenna Maddox. I help your child with books and technology at the elementary school. I want to share some information with you about our upcoming book fair. Your child should have brought home a book fair flyer last week. The flyer shows just a few of the titles we offer in the book fair. Once I have everything set up, I will do a quick video showing you the entire book fair and post that on our elementary school Facebook page. Uh, the children will come with their teacher by grade level next week to shop at the book fair. Third grade students will be here Tuesday, September 8th. Fourth grade students will shop Wednesday, September 9th. And fifth grade students will shop Thursday, September 10th. While we're not allowing visitors in our building, uh, the teacher and I will be glad to help the child pick out what they need from the book fair. If you would like to make a specific list of things you want the child to spend their book fair money on, Again, we'll be glad to help them find what they need. On the bottom of the book, book, fair, book fair flyer on the back, there's a link to show you how to set up an e-wallet. We will take cash, check, or card, but the e-wallet is a digital form of payment, so the child does not have to keep up with any money throughout the school day. So to look up the catalog and the e-wallet information, you go to scholastic.com fair. It brings you to this page. Once you enter into elementary school, you will see this page. If you click on the interactive book flyer, this is the same one that went home, but it is clickable where you can see some videos of each book or some more information about everything. If you scroll down on this page, you can actually shop online and get the books or items sent directly to your house. The school does still receive the same profit if you shop this way versus if your child shops at school. If you continue to scroll down, here's where you, where you set up the e-wallet. So this is cash free, it's digital. You will link your debit or credit card. You put the amount you want the child to spend. I will be able to look up their account. So if you put $20 on their account, um, I can look up their name and they can use that money from your card. If they only spend $16 of that $20, the other $4 will be put back on your card. So they don't necessarily have to spend that full amount, but it does give them an easy digital way to shop at the book fair. So I hope you will participate in our book fair next week. Um, we really appreciate it. All the proceeds go to the school to help us buy new library books and new materials for the library. Starting with third grade, we've been working on imagination portraits and a project that's based on a book titled The Little Blue Truck. As you can see, neither one of these trucks are blue because they get a choice. They can do their artwork any way they choose to do it. And that's one of the things I try to push in here is their creativity and their imagination. So moving on to fourth grade, we've got mass self portraits right here. And as you can see, they, you can close them up and you see them with their mask on and then you open it up and they have words in here that describe themselves. And they're also, when they finish that, they get to do a fall cat and they can do it any way they want to. And each cat has got some item in their hand that the child liked or, or that means something to them. And going on to fourth grade, we've been working on pop art self-portraits and it's based on the work of Roy Lichtenstein. And um, so they've got pop art shapes and speech bubbles they can incorporate in it. And we made some paper that's called Bende dot paper. And they can probably explain to you all of that. And then when they finish their self-portraits, they could do fall trees. And you can see some of their imagine, imagination coming out in these fall trees also. So if you've got any questions, you can email me. Um, and with those questions, and I'll be glad to get back with you, but I'm super glad to have your kids in my class today. Thank you. At West Perry Elementary School, um, different stuff that we do with PE are kickball, war ball, capture the flag, paramedic, flag tag, um, basketball. We do all different kinds of stuff. I introduce them to new games. And then uh, once a week, we'll go outside and we run for 15 minutes. And if it's too hot outside, we'll stay inside and run. Um, that normally happens on Wednesday or Thursday. And then on Friday, we have Free Play Friday where they have the option to do um, their favorite activity, which is basketball, 
Um, they can get scoops out and toss a uh, baseball back and forth, um, jump rope, hula hoop, and wall ball as well. Uh, I've had a fun time these first three weeks and I can't wait to meet uh, the rest of the kids in, in, in third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. If you look at my board, we've been doing songs such as Hello to All the Children of the World, where your child is learning to say hello in eight different languages. Also, uh, the song from Mary Poppins, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Not only we're we learning new words such as this long 34 uh, letter word, but we're also using it and incorporating tempo and dynamics. So your child is learning that uh, different parts of the songs can be sung very softly, soft, medium soft, medium loud, loud or very loud. Also, we've covered the music alphabet, which if you don't already know, uh, is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you start over. So you can name every note on the keyboard just knowing that information. We've learned that the music staff is made up of five lines and four spaces, which I showed them that my board is half a music staff. So on this music staff, we've learned that where you place the notes determines the pitch or the sound. Uh, how you draw the notes determine the duration or the length that you would sing or play those notes. Uh, we've learned, especially this week, on the keyboard, your child has learned to play with both hands, uh, right and left, and they've learned when to use those hands. Uh, on Fridays, Fun Friday, we go outside and your child is able to pick an instrument and we have a marching band uh, and then we switch instruments every, every minute so they're able to have a diverse uh, experience with lots of different drums, boom whackers, cymbals, etc. I'm having a great time with your child and I hope they're enjoying it too. Thank you. I would be wearing my mask, okay? We have to wear our masks the whole day. I'm in the computer lab. We do some typing, we do some coding. Some of you have already had me, and I will see the rest of you throughout the year. Can't wait. Hey guys, welcome back. It is so good to see your smiling faces. It's even better to be back at the best school in the world, BCES. My name is Dee Dee Allen. I am the RTI interventionist here at BCES. RTI stands for Response to Intervention. It is not a program or a club. It is a process by which I serve third, fourth, and fifth grade students with interventions to help them be successful at school. I look forward to seeing each of you in the hallway and I hope you have your best year ever.